this problem, we want to solve this polynomial inequality. We have 8x squared is greater than negative 29x plus 12. And um, get our steps up here. Step one is get everything on the left side, zero on the right side. So I'm going to take the negative 29x plus 12 and move it over to the left side. So we got 8x squared plus 29x minus 12 is greater than 0. Now step 2 is to factor the left side. Set each factor equal to 0 and solve. These are critical values. Um, wow, does this factor? Um, hmm, I'm not sure if I see actually see this one. So let me, uh, this is a key number. Let me write that down. So with the key number, we take the number at the beginning times the number at the end. So we got 8 times 12, ignoring signs, which gives us 96. We'll write down all products give us 96. We got 1 times 96, 2 times 48. Uh, yeah, 48. Uh, 3 times 32. Um, four times something, 24, five, no, six times, I actually don't need all these, but just for fun, um, six times 16, seven, I don't think so, eight times, um, 12, nine, no, 10, no, 11, okay. The reason why I said we don't need any of those is because 32 minus 3 gives us 29 right here. But anyway, if I add them, 1 plus 96 is 97, 2 plus 48 is 50, 3 plus 32 is 35, 4 plus 24 is 28, 6 plus 16 is 22, 8 plus 12 is 20. Subtract them, 96 minus 1 is 95, 48 minus 2 is 46, 32 minus 3 is 29, 24 minus 20, or 24 minus 4 is 20, 16 minus 6 is 10, 12 minus 8 is 4. Now the number we're looking for is the number in the middle term, which is 29, which is right here. So I'm going to use 3 and 32. Now remember with the key number, we rewrite our middle term using those two numbers. Our larger number in the P column that we're using, which is 32, will always be the same size as the middle term, which is positive in this problem. So plus 32x. Number of circles in the difference column, D for different signs, so if 32 is positive, then 3 will be negative. Now we want to factor by grouping. Group first two terms together, group last two together. First two have an 8x in common, and that gives us x plus 4. Second group has both divisible by 3, and the first term is negative, so I factor out a negative 3, and that gives me x plus 4. Our goal was to get these parentheses the same, which they are. So I'll factor out an x plus 4, and that leaves us 8x minus 3. It's greater than 0. Okay, so we got it factored. Then it says set each factor equal to 0 and solve. So we'll set x plus 4 equal to 0, and 8x minus 3 is equal to 0. Take the 4 over, we get negative 4. Take the negative 3 over, it becomes a positive 3. Divide both sides by 8, and you get 3 eighths. Okay. Using the x-axis and our critical values, here's negative 4, and here's 3 eighths. Clear over here is negative infinity, clear over here is positive infinity. These uh, create intervals, like that. Now we want to graph this. Now this is on uh, 8x squared plus 29x minus 12. x squared specifically opens up, and if it's a positive number, um, that's when it opens up. So it looks like this. Now, if it was a negative 8x squared, I didn't know it would open down. Now, if you don't see this, again, just graph it. It's going to be obvious. If I come over here, the part you want to graph is when you have 0 by itself. So if I press y equals, this is clear. We got 8x squared minus, or plus 29x. minus 12. Now if I press graph, you'll see it opens up, what we just said. 
Okay. Now uh, we got a greater than here. Greater than our answer is above the x-axis. Well, it's above the x-axis here and above the x-axis here. This interval here is negative infinity to negative 4. This interval here is 3, 8 to positive infinity. Now, infinities always have parentheses on it. Specifically, in this problem, this is a greater than. Assuming I didn't drop the equal part. No. So this is just a greater than. Greater than says we use parentheses. So we put parentheses around this, parentheses around this, and you put a union symbol in between them. And that's our answer.